I actually have this box here. It's um, from Notre Dame. And it's basically bulging at the seams. And inside I have um, a lot of stuff. So, I mean, it's just so over the years, some things I've collected. So, you know, I've got some season ticket uh, booklets here. I've got, you know, some other tickets. Tons and tons of them, you know. Got those. I got some Grey Cup tickets. I got, you know, NBA Finals tickets. I got some uh, hockey tickets. You know, some other subscriptions. A whole bunch of other, you know, just like pins and stuff. Just over the years, just things I've collected. And, you know, it's, it's, it's funny because it's like... Because looking back, it's like, you know, I don't ever remember, like, all of this stuff being accumulated all at once. And it's funny too, because this, 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 this box, you know, this box full of stuff, it's like, this is just what I've kept. Like over the years, there's been a tons of tickets that I've, you know, I've picked up, tickets that I've bought and sold, and then they're just, they're just gone, right? Because they're just, you know, a lot of times they're just digital tickets or they're hard tickets they need to send out or whatever the case may be. So this is just kind of some of the stuff that I've, that I've kept around. But how I actually got started, uh, we have to go back in the Wayback Machine all the way to 2013. Actually, let's go back even further. We'll go back one more year, 2012. What is like, you know, what's the origin story? I'm not Spider-Man, obviously, but it's kind of a similar story, you know? So in 2012, I would go to hockey games maybe once a year, if that, if, if that you know? Like, I used to go to hockey games very, very frequently when I was a kid, you know, between, you know, ages of, you know, like 10 to like 18, I probably went to like three or four hockey games max. Then in university, I went to a couple more. Uh, and then in 2012, we had actually decided, a bunch of friends and I, we had decided that we were going to go to see the Ottawa Senators in the playoffs every single year. Basically, if they made the playoffs, we were going to go, bar none, because we need to make sure that we got in on the action, because it was just, you know, Bonkers. Auto Senators, they basically hadn't won a playoff series since 2007. We're now in 2012. We're all getting pumped up. We're excited. You know, they're playing the New York Rangers. We're going to go to the game. So we decide, okay, let's go buy some tickets. So we go on to Capital Tickets. We go in and buy some tickets. about 50 or 60 bucks. And, you know, all was well. You know, we got our tickets. Got to go to game, I think it was game six. Five or six. I want to say game six. Basically, we go to the game. We're there. All the good stuff is happening. I think they lost that game, though. All I know is that we went to the game. I'm pretty sure we left disappointed, so it wasn't a good sign. Needless to say, the Senators did not win that round, and unfortunately that was the end of our, you know, our playoff run of being able to, you know, attend. So fast forward one more year. Now, we're in 2013, my buddy comes up to me and he says, hey, you know, I've been going to some hockey games this year, I've been buying tickets or seeing some tickets being available on this site called StubHub. And I'm like, Stub what? What is this StubHub you speak of? I don't understand does not compute. Subhub, as you guys already know, it's been around for quite a bit of time, but even for me at this point in time, 2013, never heard of it, no idea what this is, have no concept of people buying and selling tickets on the online. I knew that people would do things like on the Kijijis and the Craigslist and stuff, and they know buy and sell their tickets, but again, always that risk of people just trying to scam us all, so, that's kind of my experience of knowing about tickets and, you know, buying tickets on the Kijijis and the Craigslist and stuff, buying them in person was never, you know, a pleasant experience. You never knew if you were going to get real tickets or not. You never knew if someone's going to try and rob you. You never knew if your money you were getting was real or not. It's just a whole lot of, you know, issues. Basically, no one was happy. So then when he comes around and tells me about this website that sells tickets online, I'm like, oh, that's an interesting concept. You know, you can go ahead, you list your tickets on there. If you buy them from there, you're guaranteed to get official authentic tickets. And then the money just, you know, gets sent to you for the person who's selling it. It's like, it's a very easy, seamless transaction. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Very cool. And then I forgot about it immediately afterwards. Because again, I was not going to many hockey games. I was just buying the tickets from, you know, Ticketmaster, the box office. If I didn't get them, so be it. Fast forward to April 2013. Auto Sarah's qualify for the playoffs yet again. And we're all, you know, we're getting excited. So there's a bunch of us, we're like, okay. Which game do we want to go to? So, you know, since they're the lower seats, we got games three, four, and six to pick from. So we decided, you know what? We're going to go to the closeout game. We're going to game six. It's going to be amazing. And they're playing the Montreal Canadiens. Top it off. So once they win in game six and we're there, we get to see it all happen in person. It's going to be amazing. Yes. And then the Senators proceed to have one of, if not the best series of their lives against the Montreal Canadiens. You know, game one rolls around, they kill them, they take the win. Game two rolls around, they lose. Game three, they come in, and that's the game where Jean-Gabriel Pajot becomes a folklore hero, scores that amazing hat trick. Crowd starts chanting Pajot, Pajot, Pajot. You know, it's, it's, 
it's a whole thing. It's amazing. And we're like, wow, we could have been at that game if we bought tickets to game three. Then game four rolls around, Sens come back, they win again, and we're like, oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh dear. They're up 3-1 now. This is... It's not looking good. Then game five rolls around in Montreal, Sens go in, they take the win, and we're like, wow, we suck. We missed the most exciting playoff series that we've ever seen in our lives, and we had to watch it from home. What a bunch of losers. So now we know, okay, round two, it's happening. We're gonna be there. So we decide, okay, Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna buy tickets to either game three or game four. That's it. We're gonna go to the series. We're not missing out this time because they. this is the first series they won since 2007, back when they almost won the cup. We need to be there right now. So we say, okay, we're gonna buy some tickets. And we look at the prices and they're like $90. And we're like, huh? What do you mean $90? This is, it's crazy. We were paying, you know, 50, 60 bucks to go for round one, 50% increase to round two. This, this, this can't be, you know, we're, we're still poor little students. We can't afford this. And so we come up with this, you know, this, this, this crazy idea. We're like, oh, well, there's six of us who want to go to the game. What if we all buy one additional ticket and then, you know, we sell the additional tickets. So we, so if there's six of us going, we buy 12, we sell six and we use those funds basically to reduce our cost. And like, oh, you know, it's a good idea, but obviously it's 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 at this point in time we're like oh well this is you know kind of risky. None of us were really into this you know buying and selling type thing, and we have already heard always heard bad things about the Kijiji's and the Craigslist and stuff like that. And we're like uh, it's a bit risky. So then we say okay fine, we just get one ticket each. We'll get one additional ticket each. And so we'll just we'll just run it that way. So I end up buying eight tickets. My friend buys another four tickets. So we have twelve tickets all together. And we decide okay here's how we're gonna split it up. We're gonna have four people sit with one group, two sit with the other group. And and then the other two seats and the other four seats, we're gonna sell them. Okay, fine, let's let's do it. So we all jump onto the internet, so we all go ahead, list our tickets across the ethos, and we get some bites, get some hits, we get some sales, things are looking good. And I decide, you know, I'm gonna keep one pair of tickets, and I'm gonna try and sell them on this, this stub hub, this stub hub, this hub of stubs. The thing where you can sell the tickets online, another thing I saw. We're gonna try it out. We're just, just just test it, just see what happens, right? You know, what's the worst that could happen? So. We bought our tickets, we've sold four of the six seats, and I decide I'm gonna sell the last two seats, like I said, on the stub hubs. So this game, this game that we were gonna go to, was taking place on May 19th. I'm pretty sure we bought tickets on May 9th, 10th, 11th. As of May 18th, the tickets had not yet sold. I had two tickets still listed on StubHub, and I was like, this is ridiculous, this is insane, why did I do this? I have these two tickets, they're not gonna sell them, we're gonna lose all this money, it's gonna be terrible. But then, you no, know, something happened. So May 18th, we're there, I'm trying to sell these tickets, nothing's happening, I keep going in, checking the price basically every single day, a couple times a day, saying, okay, is it by, maybe if I move the price up and down a little bit, maybe I'll get, you know, someone will see it and they'll, they'll go in and they'll buy the ticket, it'll be amazing. On this May 18th, I'm just out with some friends, we know back when you know we were allowed to hang out with people that kind of thing uh, So we were at a McDonald's and we were just you know buying some McFlurries and I still remember this to this day Like to this day. I still remember this whole thing. We bought the McFlurries. We sat down We're sitting in the back of the booth one of the booths in McDonald's There's you know six or eight of us or whatever and I'm looking at my phone I'm like hey these tickets aren't sold. They're not sold. Okay, let me go check again. Let me check again the tickets You know the events happening really soon. So we're, we're, we're getting nervous here. Well, I'm getting nervous No one else is I don't share this information with anybody else, you know that the, there. The risk that we're, we're taking here. But yeah, I'm like, okay, fine. Let me just take another look. I'll go into my phone, check the price. Maybe I'll just drop it a little bit because, you know, we're getting close to the game. I'm pretty sure if I don't sell this soon, I'm going to lose all this money. So. so I go in and I say, okay, let me adjust the price down a little bit, a couple of pennies. Maybe that'll do the trick. And I hit save. And I get an error. I'm like, oh, that's odd. Very odd. Never got this before. So I try again. Adjust the price down a little bit and then error. I'm like, oh, this is very strange. I'm very confused. Maybe what I'll do is refresh the page. So I refresh the whole thing, check my phone, try to go to change the price, and I look at my phone and the tickets are gone. Like there's nothing there. I'm like, oh no, what did I do now? Now the tickets are gone. I don't see them here anymore. What did I do wrong? Did I adjust the price too many times? Did I lock myself out? Did they think I'm a bot? Like what's, what's, what's going on? And I'm getting all nervous and I'm getting a bit, you know, and it's like, oh, my heart's gonna race a little bit. And then I see this pop-up come up in my, in my notifications and it's like, oh, you have a new email. Like, oh. What's that? So I click on it. I open it up. And what does it say? You've sold your tickets. Huh? What? What do you mean? Someone actually bought the stuff? I'm so confused. So I check the email. I'm looking through. It says, oh, look at this ticket. Sold for $134. Paid a commission. And it's like, what? What is, what is this? This is insane. Someone actually bought these things? What? In US dollars too? What? 
What is happening? I don't understand. I was just trying to just the tickets, and then the, the, they're gone, and then like what? what? Like what? And then and then and then it finally hit me. You know, like wait a minute. We actually just sold these tickets. We sold them online. I didn't have to do anything. They were e-tickets, so they were already uploaded. So someone bought them. They got them. They were delivered. And then payment is coming to me like in the next like two days. I'm like, huh? What do you mean? This is, this is so easy. I didn't do anything. Mind boggling is basically what it was. This was just like, I could not believe that someone was willing to actually go onto the internet and then pay more than what you could actually buy tickets for like on the street, like on Gigi and everything else. Like they were paying a premium basically to buy their tickets online for a guarantee that they were going to be valid. And also for the convenience and all that kind of stuff, being able to pick and choose where they want to sit, blah, 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 blah. But I still couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, this, this is something else. Something else. And so once these last two tickets were sold, then I went and did what I do best. I jumped into Excel and I made myself a little Excel spreadsheet, said, okay, here's how much everybody paid. Here's how much we paid for the extra tickets. Here's how much we sold everything for. And then we split it up all the divvying of all the profits across the board. I took a bit of commission because I said I took too much stress and headache and had to make this Excel for you guys. I took a bit of a additional cut for it, but you know, all fine. Everyone was happy. We basically were able to go to the event for slightly more than paying what we would have paid for round one, but we actually got to go to round two. And this game was not just any game. This was no, 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 no. This was, you know, this was Daniel Alfred's final season. We had to make sure we didn't miss out on his, you know, potentially one of his last games of his career in the NHL. So we had to make sure we were there. So we were there. We sat down. We sat up in the top row, not just any row. We were in the top, the upper bowl, the upperest of the upper. Like I cannot explain to you how top row we were. It looked like we were going to fall over and just keep falling forever and ever and ever. We were hyped. But that game, 100% worth it. Daniel Robertson, he scored in the final 10 seconds of that game to bring it to overtime. Then they go in, they win that game. They take, they're down the series only 2-1 at that point. We were loving it. Things were going amazing. And then they proceed to lose, you know, game four and game five. And then that was the end of that. Needless to say, I still remember selling these tickets. It was quite the experience. And this is like the, the, the first taste I had of actually going in and, you know, selling tickets on, on online. And I was like, oh, you know, there's, there's something here. And then I proceeded to do absolutely nothing until November. And that's when I heard about, oh, this, this, this man, you know, have you heard of this, uh, Justin Timberlake? Have you heard of this man? I'm like, oh, I know this guy. Yeah, I can, I can potentially, you know, buy these tickets and then sell them. Shouldn't be too hard. I think he's a kind of popular guy. You know, I've I've seen his music in the past. I I, I have a vague understanding of, of this man. So I said, okay, fine. I'll buy these tickets. So I go online. I go buy a couple tickets. I buy the tickets. And then I sell the tickets on the Kijiji. I didn't even think about selling them on the stuff. I was like, oh no, I can do this locally. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be fantastic. Wonderful. Excellent. And that's what I did. And, and that was the, that was that. Now, selling those Justin Timberlake tickets, I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know anything about him. I don't know anything about the music industry or ticket prices or anything of the sort. I just said, oh, I know this guy. He sounds popular. Maybe I'll just try and buy some tickets and see what happens. I mean, it was like, well, like $200 I spent on him. Maybe if I lost it all, whatever. Maybe I'll just go to the event. Fine. Could be worse. So I figured, no, I'll just give it a shot, give it a try. And, and it ended up working out. You know, I ended up making you know, quite a bit of money on it. And I was like, oh, this is, this is, there's something here for it. And something I just want to mention is like, I was not the person who you would have expected to, you know, succeed in Excel at, at, at this type of activity. Because, again, I don't know anything about music. I don't know anything about ticket prices. I don't know anything about sporting prices. I don't know anything about anything. I just know that I like hockey and I want to go see hockey. And if there's a way that I can go see hockey more often than I'm seeing it right now for paying less than what I'm paying right now, then why wouldn't I just do that? So I figured, you know, I'd give it a shot, give it a try. And it ended up, you know, turning into something a bit bigger than I had originally anticipated and expected when I when I got first got started into this. So, and then, like I was saying, I, there were people, when I was on Kijiji, you know, listing tickets for Justin Timberlake, I was noticing that other people were, you know, trying to buy tickets for different events, and I was seeing, like, the prices they were asking for were actually higher than what I could find, you know, somewhere else on, on StubHub and other places. So I was like, oh, you know, maybe I could, you know, make a bit of a market here, you know. So I'll buy the tickets cheap from StubHub, sell them a bit more expensive on the Kijiji, pocket the difference. Everyone is happy. And that's what I did. That's kind of how it kind of got started. And then from there, I you know, started buying some season tickets and then I started buying tickets over here and I started buying tickets over there. And there's a whole, you know, a whole another story to go on with, with how it actually kind of grew into what it did. And I think I'm going to stop myself now because I'll talk about that in the next video where I talk about how much money I've actually made selling tickets. And I think you guys might be a bit surprised about how many tickets I've actually sold because the number is 
even to myself, even to this day, it's still a bit mind-boggling, I would say. So, with that, I hope you guys stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell as well, because I want to make sure you guys are ready for when this next video drops. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a great one. It's going to be amazing, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, with all that, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you guys!